x belongs to a comma b satisfies the inequality this given inequality the largest possible value of b minus a will be very comfortable with algebra so first step i'm going to write this as x minus 3 by x square plus 3x plus 2 minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 like keeping 0 on one side simplifies life we know this can be factorized as x plus 1 at x plus 2 i'm not anxious to do it in the first step let's simplify this x minus 3 minus x square minus 3x minus 2 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Now I am factorizing it because I have done the LCM part. So x minus 3 minus x square so is minus x square minus 3x plus x is minus 2x minus 5 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0 or x square plus 2x plus 5 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 less than or equal to 0 brilliant oops so i'm going to simplify it like this x square plus 2x plus 5 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 less than or equal to 0 we still not completed this fine so this unfortunately doesn't get factorized beautifully however if you look at that expression this the numerator alone is x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 4 why am i writing it like this this is x plus 1 the whole square so this expression if you look at it is x plus 1 the whole square plus 4 by x plus 1 into x plus 2 less than or equal to 0 why does this help the numerator cannot be negative it is positive it is a it is a square plus 4 it is greater than or equal to 4 so positive expression by x plus 1 at x plus 2 is less than or equal to 0 or x plus 1 into x plus 2 should be less than or equal to 0 technically but it cannot be equal to 0 therefore it's less than 0 because in the denominator so the quadratic expression should be negative x should lie between the roots the roots are minus 2 and minus 1 x should sit between minus 2 and minus 1 largest possible value of b minus a minus 1 minus minus 2 which is 1 the distance between minus 2 and minus 1 is 1 for this answer wonderful question really tough question bring it to one side compare with zero simplify then pick out the fact that the numerator is a square plus a number then worry only about the denominator then be careful about the denominator not going equal to zero then find the range then substitute and find b minus a